Hey everyone, it's that time of the month again, where we get to share all the exciting updates that we've been working on at Turbo360. Grab a coffee and let's chat about what's new. We all know how frustrating unexpected cloud costs can be, right? Resources constantly changing and before you knew it, your bill has a surprising spike. And that's why we're thrilled to introduce the resource change analysis feature in the Cost Analyzer. This capability gives you a clear view of the resource changes over the past two weeks. Just head to the analysis section, click the context menu and see change analysis. You will see which resources were created, updated or deleted within your group subscriptions. And if you need more details, simply click on any updated resource to see exactly what changed. Next up, we have made task management easier for you. We have integrated the task planner directly into the cost analyzer module so that you can create and track tasks without switching modules. Simply click the three dot menu in cost analyzer to access the task section. Add new tasks or make updates, all in just a few clicks. This seamless integration keeps your workflow smooth and you focus on optimizing costs. If you ever wanted to compare your Azure costs over different time periods, then the multiple month cost comparison lets you analyze tip costs over different months or even specific days in a single view. To try it out, visit the analysis section in Cost Analyzer. Click on the time frame drop down in the table view and select your preferred comparison period. It's that simple. Planning ahead is the key to cost optimization and that is why we've introduced schedule right size thing. Instead of manually rushing to adjust your SKUs, you can now schedule these changes for a specific day that works best for your business needs. Head over to the optimization section in Cost Analyzer. Go to right sizing and select advanced recommendation. You will see a list of resources with their current and recommended SKUs. Select the ones you want to change, click Actions and choose Schedule Action to set your preferred time. It works great for both upgrades and downgrades and you can even schedule deletion of idle resources. Also, don't forget to check the Schedule Actions tab to review your plan changes and task history to see what's already been completed. Complete control right to your fingertips. We have all been there. A reservation expires unexpectedly and suddenly costs shoot up. But the reservation expiring monitoring feature helps you stay ahead of these surprises by giving you plenty of notice before your reservations expire. You will find this under the optimization section in Cost Analyzer. Click on reservations, head to advanced recommendations and look for the monitoring section under purchase reservations. Here, you can set alerts for upcoming expirations based on whatever time frame works for you. There's also an incident log where you can review past alerts and the actions you've taken. Now, let's check the focus and look at some enhancements we have made to the business applications module. Managing Azure Service Bus messages just got more flexible. Previously, we were only able to process the messages at or before a specific time or within a set date range. But now we've added the ability to process these messages within a specific time frame, giving you more precise control. To use this, go to the BA section, navigate to basic resources and click on automated tasks. Under new configuration, select service bus, then choose either process service bus messages or dead letters. You will see the new option to customize the date range and use the process messages within setting. This makes handling both active messages and dead letters so much more efficient. Now, let's look into the changes that we've made in the business activity monitoring module. You can now configure custom nodes for exception codes, messages or message bodies at the stage level. These nodes will appear in the stage details plate alongside track properties and will be included in any exception alerts sent through your notification channels. While this was previously only available at the global level, you can now configure it at the stage level too. Just go to the transactions section in BAM, click edit, 
Select the workflow and find the custom messages section. Stage level messages will take priority over the global settings, giving you much more precise tracking and alerting capabilities. Finally, we've also made some general improvements to enhance your overall experience with the platform. Your eyes will thank you for this one. We've introduced dark mode to the portal for all those late night optimization sessions. This sleek, eye-friendly experience is perfect for extended usage. Enabling it couldn't be simpler. Just go to the settings, click on theme and select either light mode or dark mode based on your preference. Last but certainly not least, who doesn't love having answers right at their fingertips? We have integrated a knowledge base directly into the portal allowing you to search for answers without even leaving the platform. With the knowledge base assisted, you will get instant access to relevant articles and solutions making troubleshooting faster than ever. This should help both new users get up to speed quickly and help experienced users find answers to more complex questions. That wraps up this month's updates. We would love to hear what you think after you get a chance to play with these new features. Your feedback helps us to make Turbo360 even better. And if you haven't signed up for Turbo360 yet, this is a perfect time to discover how Turbo360 can help you streamline your Azure operations and keep that cost under control. This is Shrutvika signing off until next time. Happy optimizing everyone.